For the moment, I'm using the free transform tool just the way Flash animators have used it for years. On top of that, you gain magnetic joints. So if we misplace a bunch of elements and if we press a button, the elements will snap back to where they belong to. So if I go one which chain selects all the children and press tilde, the elements will assemble. So whenever you need it, you can use the magnetic joints. On top of that, you have chain selection up and down the chain. If I select the upper arm and press one, that chain selects down the chain and positions the transformation point in the shoulder so I can very effectively pose it. If I select this element here, the lower arm, and press one, it chain selects down so that you can manipulate just these two elements. And if you would like to select up the chain, it's just uh, a matter of a different shortcut. It selects up the chain and you go like this. It can even do a selection like this, where we go up and down and we can manipulate the elements. The last thing that I would like to show you is Kineflex, where we have soft rotation. Looks like this, like this. If we hold down shift, we can move whole chains. I can assemble him now with the magnet joints. And on top of that, we have hard rotation which keeps the chains rigid. And Kineflex works in a way so that it just takes the location and the position of the elements the way they are upon miles down. So it doesn't really force you to always keep your character assembled. It will work regardless. So you have all the flexibility of a traditional build where you can move your elements and modify them with your traditional tools. But then when you switch to one of the smart magnet rig tools, you can start manipulating the character as if he has a virtual on the fly skeleton. And finally, you can clean up your tweens and make your symbols move along arcs. I'll just demonstrate this with um, an arm here. You know how typically the elements break during classic tweens? You can see in the middle here, these elements uh, do not tween along an arc. I'll select these and trigger the cleanup. You do this when you're happy with your timing. All these keys generate automatically and once you test your animation, you will see that the movement now appears on an arc. You don't have to change anything in the way you manipulate your characters with the out of the box tools, but on top of that, you gain a lot more precision and control with the smart magnet rig tools.